so this man here living the dream living a dream what are we doing stacking up on water stacking up on Nini's water because she's right. doing a gallon a day i'm doing what a gallon a day yep you see this skin you guys this is because i did a gallon a day no makeup no filter no nothing look at this no makeup no filter <laughs> No, nothing. Yes, none of that. This is all just clear skin right here. He has to commit the way I'm committing. I mean, I'm committing because I'm actually doing my gown a day, which I'm super happy about. Because my skin is like this pimple. This pimple came in the middle of the night out of nowhere. I don't know why, but it's it a did. Water it's a water pimple. Really? Is that what we're gonna go with? Yep. Okay. That's what I'm calling it. Um, this is Buy my our shirts. Oh, yes. Let's talk about our shirt, you guys. Look at this merch that we have. It says, I did really good with this one. God. That was a prophetic word that I got some time ago, and I liked it so much, I wanted it on a shirt. So that's why I have mine on my shirt. What about you, babe? Mine says, fight for the heart of the king. And that's a heart. Yeah. So cool, huh? <laughs> so yeah, but we also have more merch on our website, which is NiniAndDanny.com, and you guys Slash should check it out. Shop, or oh, okay. You can just click merch. Slash shop, and you can click merch. But it's some cool stuff on there, you guys. So like, if you guys um want to support, <laughs> support, please. We're do not so. doing. Hey, by the way, we're not doing the merch to make money. No, we're not. We're, we're doing the merch because we're like, oh, that'd be fun, a fun shirt to have. Yeah. So, and then we're like, well, why not just put it there so if somebody else likes it, they can do it too. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to head home and, and sleep. Actually, we're getting ice cream first. Dude, I forgot that you're going to make a stop to ice cream. I want ice cream. What's your favorite ice cream? Let the people know. What is um, your favorite ice cream? You like a variety, don't you? It's cold. <laughs> I like all ice cream. That's very generic. I like all ice cream. My favorite well, I ice don't like, like black licorice. Oh, that sounds so disgusting. My favorite ice cream, I like chocolate, vanilla, and uh, cookies and cream. But the thing is, you guys. You're sensitive. No, that's not really the situation. The situation is, I can't eat something that's that cold. It's like super cold, and I can't eat so much of that sugar. Is that sensitive no, but it's not the case. But I do have sensitive to teeth. That's not the reason. It's because it's just too much sugar. It's Dude, it was it's sunny. It was beautiful. sunny today. It was raining yesterday. It oh. feels great to live in Southern California. Yeah, so the people that are not in Southern California. I'm really sorry. It's I feel sorry here. for you. But, but I'll give I'll send over this sunshine your way. So here you go. Take the sunshine. We'll pass. We'll try to send it over. Here you go. Why are you making that way? Because what the heck are you saying? I don't know. You know how people say, oh, I'm going to send you love. I'm going to give you hugs to the screen. Like, I'm doing that with uh, sunshine. I'm going to send sunshine your way. Yeah, that ain't good. That doesn't sound, <laughs> that's, not, that's not a real thing. Hey, it's real in my eyes. But yeah, so we're just heading home now. Getting ice cream and heading home. And then I'm going to sleep. Take a nap. Sunday nap day. Yum, 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 yum. Hello! <laughs> Here's the meals that we got going on. I got my little chef over here Hello. cooking. <laughs> Her name's Elena. This food is bomb. This is my first time here at the Korean barbecue in Westminster, right? Yeah. Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach? Huntington Beach. And it's so good. Getting stuck. I just want to come really quick and talk to you guys about an incident that just happened. I have my double gulp from 7-Eleven um, unsweetened iced tea. Um, and I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, a situation that happened when I bought it. Like, I went to the store, into the store, and I, I have my, my double gulp cup that I just recycle all the time and refill, right? And normally it's... Um, it's a dollar to refill, right? So it's like I'm saving a little bit of money because like those are like normally that size is normally like a dollar seventy or something. Um, but I'm saving seventy cents or whatever, and I'm also using the same cup, so I'm not wasting cup, right? 
So I went into the 7-Eleven. I normally walk up, give the guy a dollar, go fill my drink up, then I walk out. It's really funny. Sometimes people look at me and they're like, uh, come in that didn't see me give him the dollar and they think I like stole the drink or something. They're like, hey, you got to pay for that. And, I'm, and I look at the guy and he's like, oh, he already paid for it. But today I went in, got my drink, went up to the cash register and the guy was like $1.39. I was like, $1.39? And he's like, yeah, those are $1.39. I, like, I was pretty confident that they're not. Like, I, like, I know that they're not. Um, like, it's anything over 65 ounces that's more than a dollar. So I walk back to the machine and I look and they, like, could change the price on the machine. Like, where it said, like, you know, a dollar, $1.39 for um, anything over, like, 53 ounces or whatever, right? And I'm pretty sure, I don't know the exact ounceage of a double gulp, but it's pretty big. So it's probably pretty close to 53 or more ounces. Okay, cool. Like, so you had to pay 40 cents more, big deal. Who cares? Wasn't that. It was that the guy was so rude about needing, about the price. Like, it wasn't like he was helpful with the price. It wasn't like... Oh yeah, we recently changed that, or I'm sorry that you misunderstood the price. It's just like, nah. Like he had the the stank face on as soon as I was as soon as I questioned him. I was like, it's a dollar. I'm pretty confident it's a dollar. Like I did not have an attitude going into this, and then I like get frustrated, and I don't care about the forty cents. I don't care about the forty cents. It's like the decency of like being kind to someone. Like okay, so it's forty cents more big whoop be nice when you tell it right and so then I'm I leave um, I leave and I get going with my day and like I realize like I'm frustrated now like Mimi hits me up about something and I'm frustrated I'm annoyed now and I'm like why am I annoyed why why did I give this man the power to control my frustration right? And I tell this to Nimi all the time, and I need to practice it myself, obviously. But other people don't get to dictate your attitude. You get to dictate your attitude. You're the one that's responsible for how you react to people. And I reacted negatively. Like, this guy was giving me the stank face, was rude, and then all of a sudden I'm like now frustrated. I'm like huffing and puffing. I'm like, it's a wrong taste in my mouth. I'm angry, right? I'm just, Ugh, it's just annoying. But that's me. That's on me. That's not on him. That's on me because I allowed myself to be annoyed with that. And so I had to take a second and take some deep breaths. And like I was trying to find ways to, because I don't want my day to go like that. I don't want my day to be like that. So I had to breathe and think, how can I not be in the position that I'm in right now? How can I choose to not let this little stupid thing not affect my relationship with my wife, not affect how I go about my day today with my coworkers, about how I, um, when I'm working later with the kids, like this little annoyance could set off a chain reaction. And it does for a lot of people, I feel like. It sets off a chain reaction where the whole day, your whole day is shot because of one negative experience and then you're frustrated and everything else. Like I see it all the time. And so my encouragement is to find how you can not be frustrated when when those situations come up. I want to say like when you're wronged. I wasn't even wronged. Like I was big deal. It's 40 cents. I can afford it. <laughs> Most people can, right? Even the poorest of the poor, we can afford 40 cents. But it it's it's that allowing other people the power of your attitude and finding ways to readjust and not allow that to take place. So I hope that encourages you. I hope that you can identify when someone else is trying to dictate your attitude and when you can recognize it and take it. Maybe comment below if you've ever experienced something like that um, situation that you may have had 
where you've you've realized hey this is happening and I'm getting frustrated and I'm allowing someone else to control my happiness <laughs> Hey, hey, look at my pancake. I'm looking my omelets. I am so hungry, guys. Look at her, look at her. Chowing down, chowing down. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. Chowing down, chowing down. <laughs> I am on my way to meet my family. We are going to go to Disneyland. One of the major benefits of living in Southern California is you can go to Disneyland anytime you want, as long as you have a pass. My pass is actually broken. It's split. It's in half. I don't know why. What are we on, guys? We are on Mickey's Death Wheel. Yeah, it's the wheel of terror. I think Abby's the only one that's really legitimately scared right now. I am. I'm afraid this is gonna open. It probably would. You having fun, Spike? Yeah. You having fun, Tuesday? Hey. Yeah. You having fun, Zaba? Zaba. Abba Zaba. Abba Zaba. Excuse me. You! Ace? Ace. Oh, no, you're Abba Zabba. Nice. You will always be my little Abba Zabba bar. I'm booping whoever's right there. I'm booping your nose. Boop. Really had a lot of fun. Just hanging out with my sisters and my brother. Hanging out with my mom and dad. It's great having them down here. Like, I really, truly, truly miss them when they're not, uh, when they're out of town. My parents do not live here. They live in Oregon and then they travel, they're retired, so they travel all over the place. Um, but I just absolutely love spending time with them and get so busy working. You know, some, I mean, they've been here almost almost a month now and I really have only spent a couple days with them. But I just love having them around. I love seeing them on Sunday mornings at church and uh, just getting to spend time with them. Like, you gotta take time for the ones you love, you really do. So it was a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed my little tiny, I didn't get a vlog as much as I wanted to, but hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, it's a good day. <laughs> Square. Uh, 20 square, hey! Mm -hmm. How does it feel? How does it feel? 
does it feel to be 20 squared? Hmm? Man, I feel like, um, it feels feel great. Like it, yeah, man. I don't feel like it. I can, woo, you can do anything. I, I can even, you can do anything. Can you, you know, can move. Can move. And this creeper in the back. This one of me. I can hum up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but it was the best. Mm -hmm. I got my favorite number one here. Hey. My favorite bread over there. Hey. And they surprised me. Surprise birthday. I was birthday. ready to go off on them on Monday. I know. You know? <laughs> oh, just counting down. <laughs> uh, she be in with a bad so just choked me on it. You know. You but know. it's all right. You know how I do, you guys. You guys all know, right? <laughs> Happy birthday, mom. I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. Alright, do you want to give a shout out to your channel? Do you have a channel? Do you have an Instagram? Do you have anything that you want to do? Oh yeah, you guys go ahead, check out Maximum Records. Mm -hmm. You know, subscribe on it. Mm -hmm. Mail to the vote. M-E-L-T-U-D-V-O. Mm -hmm. Subscribe on it. Subscribe, y'all. That's like, it. Like, subscribe, and comment. You know how we do. Alrighty. Want to say anything, Danny? Nothing? Alright, he just want to bob his head like a bobble head. Uh -huh. <laughs>